G'day and welcome to another video. In today's video, we are going to be talking about yarn. Well, we all like talking about yarn, don't we? We crochet. I'm filming today on my phone and there will be no editing for this video, so here goes. <laughs> so if you've watched my vi videos recently, you would have saw a video about yarn cravings and how I was having yarn cravings and I just wanted to buy some yarn. I didn't care what it was. Well, I didn't care what it was. But you know what I mean? Like, I didn't care what it was. I just needed to buy some yarn. I had to fix my cravings. And before anyone asks, I did make my headband, but it's made on the Annie machine. So, and I don't have any tutorials for this. I think there is a tutorial here on YouTube. I'm pretty sure I followed one. I know I followed some sort of pattern. If I can find the link, it'll be down here in the description box. So look out for that. Yeah, so my video was about yarn cravings and it was saying, you know, I'd been craving to buy yarn for three months, at least three months, and I didn't think I could hold off. So I didn't hold off. The next couple of weeks I went into town and we have a couple of charity shops. I didn't want to go and spend a heap of money on really expensive yarn. I wanted to use my money wisely. I'm laughing because I know how much yarn I bought. And so I went into town and thought, I'll go and check out my charity shops. And if they have something I could buy, then I can buy the yarn and it will get the craving sorted, right? Well, it was my lucky day. Most of my charity shops, there's one, two, there's three that I can go to that are local. And one I've never been to because it's, it's sort of out of town and the other two are together. They're just in the same sort of area. And I thought, well, I'll just go in there and see what they've got they never have yarn and if they do it's it's stuff that I don't like or it's just real rubbishy it's all the sort of like odd balls that personally I can never make anything with I know you guys out there are really talented and you can make heaps of stuff with all those scrap yarns but I just can't put it all together <laughs> it's gonna be one or two colors anyway so yeah there's never hardly any yarn and so I walk in there with my husband this time we're normally by myself where I could purchase as much as I want. Not that he really cares, but he does stand there giving me that judgmental look <laughs> of you have too much yarn already and you don't need any more. So I go in and there is a trolley, which I would call a trolley when you go grocery shopping. I think you might call it a shopping cart or something. Anything else that you call it, put it in the in the comment section below. But you put all your groceries in when you go shopping. So this was one of the big ones, one of the deep ones, not one of the little shallow ones. It was full to the top of yarn and they were grouped in bags. So it wasn't just random stuff, just all shoved in the trolley. It was in bags. I'm looking here. You can probably see the tops of the bags here. There's going to be some rustling, um, but I'm also going to talk about a project that I started, but don't know when I'm ready. So I'm going to talk about the yarn first. So I went in and they had this, all these balls of yarn. I don't even know how many is in there. As you can see, it's quite a lot, and this was ten dollars for the whole bag. I would say there's at least fifteen balls of yarn in there. I haven't actually um, counted them all, and this is so old. This yarn, it actually has a price tag on it, which most shops don't do anymore. And it's Kmart. Uh, Kmart here for us sells clothes, um, toys. I'm not sure what store to compare it to in America, but it, sh it sells clothes, toys, bits and pieces for your car, like air freshener, car cleaner, car wash. Uh, it sells kitchen-y type stuff, and it's quite a cheap store. So good price stuff. And it was 98 cents. That would not be... Focus. Focus. Is it going to focus? Get my face out of the way. Anyway. That would not be 98 cents anymore. It is made in Australia, so that tells you again that it's pretty old because a lot of yarn is not made in Australia anymore. And it's 100% acrylic. I uh, don't know what ply it is, but it recommends a 4mm size needle or crochet hook. So that would be about a DK, which is a lightweight worsted yarn. And it's, it's fluffy. It's fluffy. I did make something with this on the Addy machine, but it didn't come up as fluffy as you can't really tell that it's got this quite a good halo on it. But it is lovely and soft. 
So there's all that. I'm going to put that down there so I know I've done it. I got some... I think this is mainly all acrylic. That Oh no, I did get some non-acrylic stuff. So this is Creative Corner Knitting Yarn, 8 ply. So that's a double knit or a light worsted weight, number 3 yarn. And it's 100% polyester. The colour is red, literally on the label. It's colour red. And it was made... No, it wasn't made in Australia. It was imported. Uh, it doesn't say where it's made. It just says it was... Oh, no, it does. It says made in China. And recommends a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. That could be back to front because... That's not going to focus. I don't know why this isn't focusing. Anyway. Um, what was I saying? I don't know. It's pretty. It's red. It's very bright red. Like pillar box red if you're in England. The pillar boxes. Yeah. It's really bright. This whole bag was that says two dollars. It was not two dollars. It was ten dollars. I must have swapped bags over or something. Right. That was not that was not two dollars. It was ten dollars. And there are twelve balls in the bag. I thought that was a pretty good bargain. That has never been used. It is literally all brand new. It's all got labels on them. So my next one I got was... Holiday 8 ply, 50 grams. Grown and spun in Australia. And it is... It's pure wool. I don't think it's a superwash. So it will shrink if you wash it in the hot water and all those businesses. This is a purple. It's coming up a little bit grey blue on my screen, but it is a purple. Like a dark lavender. It is very, very pretty. 50 grams, so it's only a little small ball, but I've got two, four, six, eight. I think there's nine, and I'm sure I've used two already on something else. So there was around 10, 11 balls. And this bag was $4. That is the price because I remember seeing it and thinking four dollars for like ten balls or whatever. It's a hundred percent wool, which it would have been four dollars per ball probably when it was out. I got this one, and I know that I've used two balls of this one. This is made in Australia by Sadar Wools in Goulburn. Oh wow, it's not too far from where I am. And it's 75% mohair, 18% wool, 7% nylon. This colour is absolutely gorgeous. And it has fluff. Maybe if I get out, it'll focus. I don't know. Oop. And I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I'm going to say 9 or 10 balls because I know I've used some of this. And it was $5.00. Five dollars. Very cheap. It probably would have been close to that when it was new. This one is called Twilly's Bulky Capricorn. 100 grams. Uh, what is it made of? Made in Spain. And it's 50% nylon, 50% acrylic. Again, it's a fluffy wool. It's going to be horrible to crochet with. But I just loved it because it was blue. And it's really, really soft. What, what what was it made of? Nylon and acrylic. It feels really lovely. It's not scratchy or not itchy. Really, really nice. So I've got one, two, three, four of those. And then again, more of the red one. There's about... Oh, I would say there is about 10 of the red and about 4 of the blue. 10 bucks for that whole bag. This does not happen, people. This does not happen to me. I'm talking quickly because I think my phone's going to run out. Um, this does not happen to me. There is never that amount of yarn, let alone that amount in the one colour and the one brand of yarn. Now I've got an itchy face because I've got fluff up my nose. <laughs> So have you ever come across a good bargain that you just couldn't resist? I think in total, that was over two visits because I did actually go back and buy some more. But over the two visits, I, sp I spent, 
I think about $35, I can't add up. I know it was less than 50. Oh, sorry guys. <laughs> Fluff. Um, it, put it this way, it was super cheap and they, they, um, they ended up being less than a dollar a ball. And for some of them that they would wall, that is a very, very good price. So thanks for watching guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I may have said I'm going to talk about a whip, but I think my phone is going to cut out in about 30 seconds because it's close to full. I've got to go and take some stuff off it. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you soon. I hope you're all staying safe and well. Until next time, happy crochet. Bye.